Well, the country's tertiary institutions taking a stance on the uprising in the United States and in doing so, making it clear that denouncing racism, bigotry, brutality and inequality must be sustained beyond the protest so that real change can not only take root but grow and flourish. Bakush Lapinder has the story. America's deep-seated civil unrest has found the University of the Bahamas calling for deeper dialogues on matters like rare relations, power structures, the criminal justice system, marginalized groups, and social justice, all leading to real policy amendments in the Bahamas and improvements in habits, behaviors, and beliefs. Providing further clarity is UB's Chair of Social Sciences and Assistant Professor of Sociology, Dr. Nicolette Bethel, who says what we're now seeing has been long in coming. The fact that there is a social uprising is relevant to us. The elements of that social uprising may not be so relevant, but we should not be complacent because there is no part of the world that does not, that has not swallowed in some way the idea of white supremacy. The idea that the most likely criminals are going to be young, black, and male. We have that same concept here in the Bahamas, even though we are a black majority society. If you look at the people who are going to be targeted, the way in which people are treated even under lockdown, the people who are young, black and male have been treated differently from other sectors of the society. And this is all um, part of that whole myth of white supremacy on which the whole of our region has been founded. What we're seeing is a serious challenge to that concept, that idea. Bethel adds that seeing the uprising, though, does not translate into it automatically dismantling white supremacy. We have to be intentional. We have to understand what, what has to be dismantled, and then we have to take those steps. The uprising is just a vehicle, but it is not going to be the end. It can't be. UB echoed similar sentiments in a statement noting that there is an opportunity to disrupt the status quo, dispense with age-old problems, have frank discussions, and do the things that are necessary to make systems, communities, and societies better. Again, at the heart of America's unrest, unarmed African-American father, George Floyd, who died on May 25th after a white Minneapolis police officer pressed a knee on his neck for more than eight minutes. Floyd's independent autopsy found that he died of asphyxiation from sustained pressure. For the ZNS News Network, I'm Makushla Pinder.